everyone, Neil from Modo here. On this episode of the Energy Academy, I'm going to be giving a brief introduction to balancing services use of system charges, or BASUOS. BASUOS is charged to users of the transmission system, such as generators and suppliers, by the National Grid Electricity System Operator, or ESO. Its purpose is to recoup the costs of the day-to-day -day operations that take place to balance the system. BASUOS is charged for each half-hour settlement period and then billed daily on a pounds per megawatt hour basis, proportionate to how much a given asset has used the system. If you look at the equation on the screen, you can see how BASUOS is tallied. As you can see, it's the tariff in pounds per megawatt hour multiplied by a given BMU's metered volume in megawatt hours. The transmissions loss multiplier reflects the amount of energy lost to heat between the participant and the transmission system, and the trading unit delivery mode, listed here as plus one or negative one, simply refers to whether a participant is importing or exporting. The value changes every half hour, according to the actions the ESO has to take to manage the system. Market participants pay BASUOS on their usage and then pass on an estimate or forecast of that cost when selling energy. So how do BASUOS charges work for battery energy storage systems, or BES? There are two main factors influencing BASUOS charges for BES assets. The first concerns the way in which an asset is connected to the transmission network, either directly or via a distribution network. The second concerns whether an asset is exporting or importing energy. No BASUOS is charged on import for BES. This has not always been the case, and batteries did used to be subject to double charging, meaning they paid BASUOS on both import and export. However, this was deemed to be unfair as storage assets are already helping to balance the system by their very nature, with Ofgem reasonably surmising that they shouldn't also be responsible for paying to do so. Therefore, in April 2021, double charging of storage assets ended. Secondly, only transmission connected BES assets and not distribution connected assets are charged BASUOS on exports. From April the 1st, 2023, the way BASUOS costs are charged is changing again, but this time with wider reaching consequences. The Ofgem BASUOS task force has decided that final demand, i.e. the end consumer or put simply, you at home, should be liable for all BASUOS charges and that these charges should be fixed in advance. In theory, as generators will no longer be liable to pay BASUOS, the wholesale cost of electricity is likely to fall in line with this reduction. To find out more about how BASUOS affects battery energy storage systems, make sure to check out the Modo platform. Thanks for watching and see you next time.